Yeah. So I got this shipment in. It came in from NewCadia.com. Now every time I order from them, I'm always going to get some older comics. And they've got a large selection. So there's no telling what I ended up with here. I just know that every time I order something, there's a purpose behind it. And it's either going to be that it's an origin story, a first appearance, or they're discussing putting them in a movie. Um, and if I remember correctly, there is going to be a character that has been discussed making uh, a part, making them part of the uh, uh, MCU. So that's going to be cool. Um, other than that, I'll just order something because it's a number one or I like it, you know. So um, there's always going to be some type of reason or some type of uh, purpose to it. So let me let me dig into this one. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, it did come in. All right, so this one's going to be the Black Knight. And this is Black Knight number two. All right. Now they're talking about bringing him in. His sword is pretty cool. Um, you can check him out. I don't know too much about him. I did know a lot about him when I first uh, uh, ordered him, but... Uh, here we are, and I'm drawing a blank. I just know that his sword has, there have been numerous Black Knights, and his sword is tied in with uh, um, with uh, Mephisto and uh, uh, Doctor Strange, and here he is right here with them on the cover. So this is Black Knight number three. All right? So it's kind of like whoever holds the sword type thing. And then I picked up Blood Syndicate number one. And all of these are in, in near mint condition, so that's awesome. And if you look at the top on this one, it says first issue collector's item. So who would have thought that DC Comics would have something called Blood Syndicate? I had to pick it up. I had never heard of it. I wonder if any of you guys have, but it's cool, man. I'm going to check it out. Um, then I had from Image, I had uh, Union number one. That's also a near mint. That one's from 1993. It's got the dates here. Uh, not, not on this one. Um, this one is 1990. So that that's cool. I'm gonna have to dig into Black Black Knight. I had researched them, and I have I have a lot of you know. There's there's some pretty long videos out there that discuss them. I'm just surprised that I'm drawing a blank. But they're, he's supposed to be coming out in. Uh, they're talking about bringing them out in the MCU. So it'd be cool. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta get ahead of the game. When they're talking about that, hey, we might do this, you know, you buy the rumor and you sell the news. So I heard a rumor that they're gonna put this guy on there and then when the news comes out that, oh, he is gonna be in there and depending on whether or not I decide to get rid of it, if the, uh, um, the gains that I make on it are worth it. I may get rid of it, but see what I'm saying? You buy the rumor and sell the news. Okay, cool. Look at this, man. Look at this. This is old comic, man. Mephisto versus X Factor. This is also a near mint. And then they're talking about bringing Mephisto in. And uh, uh, Mephisto's supposed to be part of the... Uh, um, what is it called? Uh, uh, well, Mephisto, oh, like like on this, like with X Factor. Let me see if there's another one over here. That way I can show you how deep this character is. Look, Mephisto versus the Fantastic Four. And they were saying that Christian Bale was going to play Mephisto. That they were in talks of doing that. But I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen. But this is the first of a four-issue limited series. So you got... Uh, Mephisto versus Fantastic Four number one. Um, Mephisto versus the X Factor. That's number two. Let me see if I if I got any more. Look at this. Mephisto versus the Avengers. I don't know if you see that. Number four. Did I get all four? I'd be happy just with the three before I got all four. 
Boom, here we go. Mephisto versus the X-Men. Look at that, man. So it's cool, man. Look, like I'm looking at this stuff and it's just amazing that I was able to get these. You know what I mean? Like, wow. So, New Katie, a thumbs up to you, man, for good. I, all I did was go over there and I looked up some old comics that probably people ain't even thinking about. And bam, you had them. So that was cool. Um, look at Captain Marvel. But it was still a man. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? I was, uh, uh, I, was, I showed somebody this, like, who's that? And I was like, dude, the male version, you know what I mean? And that, that's the first issue, so that's cool. I mean, of course, given it's the 2008 series. I need to look that up. I wonder if they just did a gender bender or if Captain Marvel, um, showed up as a female before the movie. I don't know. I'll have to check it out. I'm not too savvy on uh, Captain Marvel. I did get Blade number seven. Look at that. 2006, the death of Blade. <clears throat> Jesus. <laughs> Literally. And then I got um, Peter Parker Spider-Man number seven. This is when uh, he fights the hunger and Blade is also on the cover and that's a big deal man because the hunger is who Morbius uh, Is the antagonist in the movie Morbius so you've got the hunger and then we know that spider-man may make a cameo appearance on Morbius so um, knowing that you know that I have a, 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 a blade uh, Spider-Man and The Hunger on one comic because you know the Blade movie's coming out. What if he makes a cameo? I mean, I don't know if he'll be in that movie or whatever, but I'm just, you know, I'm just talking, man. I don't, I don't, you know, these are rumors. And then you've got, uh, I've got Midnight Suns Unlimited. Look at that. Midnight Suns Unlimited. Check that out. Look at, look inside. Look at the people right there. The characters. Damn, this is cool. Then I got uh, Spider-Man and Morbius right here. And this is going to be Peter Parker Spider-Man. Seventy-eight. Yeah, number 78. That's crazy. <clears throat> Peter Parker Spider-Man, number 12. Look at that. Return of the Sinister Six. And that's what they're talking about, is that the Sinister Six are going to come back. That they're forming them. That that's what all these movies are doing. Forming the Sinister Six. So, I had to get ahead of the curve and uh, um, get something related to that. Here goes another Captain Marvel. Number 2. And then Lucadia, always looking out for their customers, threw me a free comic book, and it is JSA versus Cobra. Check that out. Rare comic. You know? These are all comics that people probably don't even think about. And I got my hands on a bunch of really cool comics. Um, I haven't priced them or anything like that, but uh, Nucadia always has some pretty good deals on their, their, their items. So I snagged what I wanted, you know, and here we go, we got them. So whenever, whenever you see Spider-Man and Morbius show up on the screen together, guess what, I got it. You see Return of the Sinister Six, I got it. You see uh, Blade, getting thrown on the ground by Preacher Man. Boom, I got it. You got Black Knight showing up. Got it, you know what I'm saying? So, this this is this is how I like to do it, man. When when it starts, when the rumor comes out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get what I can. Look, The Hunger. I got it, whenever he pops out. If this, so, if this happens right here, The Hunger and Blade and and Spider-Man, even if Spider-Man and the Hunger get into it, it's there. Mephisto comes out, and it's he's with the X-Men. Guess what? Boom. Mephisto comes out, 
with the Avengers, boom, got it. Mephisto comes out with X Factor, got it. Guess what? He comes out with the Fantastic Four, I got it. And then if they do anything with the Midnight Suns, which we already know that they're gearing up for that, that's going to be Blade, you know? So that's going to be, that's going to be super dope. Then I got some other cool ones, you know, the Union, Blood Syndicate, boom. Gods on Earth.